Oh no, it's been a while. It's been a while. Actually, let's move us down here. You guys get to see the fancy Japanese Team Rocket Charizard. The man, the myth, the legend. Alright, so, uh, it's been a little bit since I had a video. Uh, so I figure we'll start some things off with a bang today. So I did get, okay, this is the regular, Kaldheim Part 1 and the Foil Edition. Uh, this is a regular, looks like. Unfathomable Crushing Brutality of Basic Land foil. Okay, regular. Uh, that right, I don't know, well, I don't think you can see it, but. Is that in focus? Holy crap, it actually is in focus. Okay. So there's our foil. Keldheim. Wait a second. How come I have four foil edition boxes? But I have five regular. Give me a second, let me check my uh Check my invoice here. Kaldheim foil, Kaldheim X, foil two, regular, foil, basic land. Okay. Oh, okay. Why wasn't the, the Lair Fairy Farious? Really? Huh. I would expect for a full bundle I'd get actually everything in foil, but well this is the Valentine's Day bundle. Anyway. I don't know what what's going on here. I just I just work here, so I figured I'd uh, redo another video. I haven't done a video in a while. Um, get right into secret layers. Yeah, why not? This is box fresh. This was delivered literally an hour ago, maybe, if we're lucky. Okay, my foils are off to the side. Just remember, folks, Magic the Gathering is for ages 13 and over. Which, I guess. Even though I think I played Magic... Oh, I was in 7th grade when I started playing, and that was in 2001. That goes to show you how old I actually am. So... Anyway, uh, oh, ooh. there was an issue with this secret lair. I don't know if you guys are aware of this. Folks, whatever, whoever's watching is aware. Uh, the Heliod Sun Bundle is not in this because they forgot to ship it. Or they forgot to include it in everybody's boxes. So they said that they're going to send out... The appropriate amount of copies um, eventually I actually finally got my uh, what is it I actually have it sitting right here the happy little gathering secret layer land foil edition or regular edition a couple days ago actually um, so we're going to start off with the Valentine's Day. So we're going to just uh, dive right into it because this video is already at, what, four minutes and I haven't opened a single thing. Oh, jeez. Uh, actually, let me see if I can... Is that better? Does that look nicer? Is it cleaner? I actually tried to figure this out. What the heck am I doing? 
I'm not even paying attention. I'm just like, Bleh. okay. Anyway, so the Valentine's Day, we got our Goblin Rabble Master. Monastery Swift Spear. Is that even in focus? Nah, sort of, but not really. Boros Charm. Ooh, the Blade of Good Knight. Gold Knight. If I can read. We've got ourselves a Goblin Spewing what appears to be roses because you know everybody loves roses uh, we shall put these here and I shall put that card there uh, so what's ever, actually everybody's thought on Strixhaven because I I was trying to avoid anything and everything Strixhaven because I wanted to do a blind box opening. But that didn't work out too well. Mr. Rudy from Alpha Investments. Angry, angry Rudy. But listen, he, he does make valid points. You know, I... I, I get it. Oh, I can't even open. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I just butchered the crap out of this pack. Uh, yeah, I mean, he makes valid points. I watch his stuff all the time. We got a Grave Titan. Inferno Titan. Crozaxa. Croza. 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 Hey, there we go. Uh, yeah, it's been a long day. Uh, I've had a splitting headache all day. I just figured it would be fun to say screw it and open some cards. Uh, but I was trying to avoid some Strixhaven stuff. I wanted to do a video of like a theme box. What do we got? We got the unfathomable crushing brutality of basic lands. And that last one I opened was a... Where did I put the box? Um, Showcase Kaldheim Part 2. So. Um, I actually did want to do like a showcase. Or. Because you know me. I'm, I like my collectible art cards. Okay. It's actually let me try to do it this way real fast. So I don't confuse myself on what order. I have these in. Kjeldheim. Okay, we've got the Brutality of the Lands. Uh, I actually went out to my local Walmart, where for once they actually had cards, and wouldn't you know it, they had Strixhaven. So I bought, what did I do? I bought three or four packs of Strixhaven there. Then I went to my local Target, because they actually have cards, which is hilarious to me, because there's a sign that says, uh, well, they used to have a sign that said you're allowed, oh, why can I not open this? Holy crap. Uh, there used to be a sign that said only three packs per customer, because everybody's buying up Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh and sports cards. Okay, well now back to our basic lands. Swanky Plains, I like that. Nice little island. Cool looking swamp. Fits the zombie theme pretty well. Awesome looking mountain. Pretty slick looking for it. Okay. That's a, that's a pretty cool set of cards. But anyway, I, you know, I finally found some cards. Um, they said three packs per person per transaction. Uh, and now they just put a sign up saying that sports. Oh, wow. Um, 
Well, this is apparently a foil, and I didn't realize it. I didn't think that was going to be a foil pack, because it doesn't say foil on the box at all. Great. Yeah, um, does it say foil anywhere? Um, hmm. Okay. So I, I ended up buying, I don't know, 13 booster boxes, or not booster boxes, uh, booster packs, Strixhaven, uh, theme sets, Wizards, listen, man. If I'm spending two thirty on a product, that's oh my lord. Well, that's damaged. I, nothing I can do with that. And they're all like that. <laughs> oh lord, great. If I'm spending two hundred and thirty dollars on a product. I want stuff like this not to happen. Actually, I think it's just 271, which is now upsetting because I might be able to straighten that back out, but I don't even know. That's. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to get a hold of customer service and be like, hey, I just opened these and this is what they look like. Is there a specific reason? I probably have a better chance waiting on uh I don't even know anymore. I do not know. Well, this is our last one. This is the showcase Kaldheim part one box. So I did that really redonkulously backwards. Uh, yeah, so, I, you know, I bought a couple packs. I wanted to see what the flavor was, you know. Get an idea if I like the set. Because uh, if I like a set, sort of like Modern Horizons, I tend to buy heavily into that set. So we're Keldheim, we got a Frost Titan, Primeval, and Euro. Pretty nice looking cards. At least they turned out okay. Um, I think that was all of them, right? Five, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's all five. So, I got those. Actually, I should have a couple of the cards here somewhere. I don't know where they went. Oh, well. This whole deck, a desk, like right over here. Just right off camera, just a little bit, is stacked. Probably about foot, a foot tall of cards I've been going through, trying to figure out what's good, what's bad, what's ugly. Found my Modern Horizons pile. Didn't realize half the cards went up to that kind of value, but anyway. So I got those, because um, now I'm going off on tangents, I'm forgetting what I'm saying. Those, uh, those new, like, showcase cards, the uh, spell book cards, I think they're called. I'm like, ah, oh, the first one I pulled, I was like, oh, that's cool, that's cool, it's awesome. Alright, so for our foil, we got a beautiful foil forest. So I got really excited, I jumped on TCG Player, I'm like, oh, what's the value of something like this? This is cool, this looks awesome. This is Showcase Keldheim box topper. And lo and my surprise, it was a whole 30 cent card. So the box topper on this one, this is the fairy, the fairy one, the foil that got all screwed up somehow. Uh, which I don't believe was me. Because I didn't, I'm usually pretty good with these. Ooh. We got the Sublime, Sublime Artificer. Stained glass. Very pretty. 
Okay, so now we're going to the unfathomably crushing brutality of Basic Lands, which honestly sounds like something from uh, Cards Against Humanity, if you've ever played that. Okay, come on. Uh, come on. All right, so what do we got? It's actually in good shape, too. Ooh, swampy. All right, so our last two, we got... Oop, don't want to throw that on that, because that's blue. Uh, this is... Oh, this is the fairy... Wait a second. I'm backwards here. This is the Showcase Kaldheim Part 2. Yeah, so I just wanted to check out the flavor of the set, see if I liked it. All right, uh, third, fourth of charm, fourth of charm. Okay, that's actually kind of a cool looking swamp, but I'd much rather have the uh, standard stained glass planeswalkers. Oh, takes my art card. I guess they uh, changed the drop rates on the stained glass planeswalkers. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? What? Okay. Um, two force, two swamps, and the sublime artificer. Interesting. Well, you know, I I did open up a couple packs. I I, I don't know what to think about it. I'm fifty fifty. Um. But I will be contacting Wizards of the Coast for this because I don't believe that was my error. Because I noticed that as soon as I, as soon as I ripped the top corner of the pack, I saw that, and I'm like, oh no. Uh, hmm. A little upset over that actually, because that's that might be a shipping error. I have no idea, because the box looked like it had where was it? Where was it? Uh, what am I looking for? The fairy fairy one. Shoot this Kaldheim fairy fairy. Yeah, the box looked okay. I don't know. I don't think I did that. The box is sound. This this box looks. This box is sound because we were looking at it. I don't know what that is. It's kind of weird. Ooh. Sure, it's gathered pretty quick. It looks like. Uh. Anyway. So I just, you know, wanted to see what the set was like. I was a little disappointed in it. Uh, I'm still holding out hope that I can get another Time Spiral Remastered box, but I think I'm going to start investing in Hasbro, be a majority shareholder, and say what we need to do is start bringing back Reserve List and chase the good cards again, because... It was a good time in Magic. I do miss it. Oh well. Well, thanks for uh, for watching and uh, allowing me to be a downer for today's video. Uh, until next time, which I'm hoping is fairly soon. Have fun, be young, play Magic. And don't forget to tap your lands. Is that mana burn? Does that count? <laughs> uh, have fun. See you later.